Hey guys, welcome back to your next form. We are about to go over Tega 5. Now, Tega 5 is just short for Teguk 5, which is actually Teguk Ojan. Now, Teguk Ojan is a series of actions expressing the Sion principle of the Pauge. Sion represents the wind. And while wind can be terrible as in a tornado, the nature of wind itself is gentle. This principle teaches us that we must remain humble in mind and only act forcibly when we must. And this form has 20 moves. From Chumbi stance, take your left leg and turn to the left into a down block with your left arm in a good walking stance and then retract that same leg back into a small back stance, now using your left arm as a hammer fist to the top of the head. Let's turn to the right and repeat that same process. Use your right arm and right leg to turn into a down block walking stance. Retract that right leg. Use your right arm as a hammer fist to the top. From there, we're going to do a series of complicated moves, but we're gonna to step to the front in a walking stance with our left leg. And with our left arm, we're doing an outside inside block. Stay where you are, right arm outside inside block. Now stepping forward, use your right leg to do a front kick and your right arm to do a back fist, land in a good walking stance. Left arm outside inside block, kick with your left leg, then do a back fist with your left arm as your left leg moves into a walking stance position. With your right arm, do an outside inside block. Now step forward with your right leg and use your right arm to do a back fist. Now turn all the way around into a back stance with a single knife hand block. Keep your right hand in a fist down to your waist. Now that left single knife hand block is calling your name. It's calling for your elbow. So now we're gonna step forward into a walking stance elbow strike. Now we're gonna do the same thing and turn around to our right, a single knife hand block, keeping your left arm this time, your left hand in a fist at your waist. And that right arm, that single knife hand block in your back stance is now calling for a elbow strike. So step forward into a walking stance elbow strike. Now we're gonna to turn to the back with our left leg into a walking stance, left arm down block, right arm outside inside block. Back leg, which is your right leg, do a front kick, move it into a good walking stance moving forward, right arm down block, left arm outside inside block. Shift over to your left into a walking stance using that left arm as a rising block. Now this is where it gets kind of cool. We're gonna shift over and we're gonna do a side kick with our right leg and at the same time throw out our right arm as a back fist. So that's a, a double whammy. And then we're gonna land that side kick into a good walking stance position as we're moving forward to do another elbow strike. Let's repeat the same process on the other side. Turn into a good rising block. And then you're gonna turn into that side kick. And as you do that side kick, you're gonna throw out that back fist. And you're gonna land into a good walking stance to do that good elbow strike. After you do that great elbow strike, you're gonna take that left leg, turning towards the back into a walking stance, left arm down block, then right arm outside inside. Use your right leg to do a front kick. Don't put it down because as soon as you do that front kick, you're gonna jump into a back fist. Once you're in that back fist position, you are done. That's a good key out right there. From there, you're gonna turn around to face the front into a Jumbi. And you did it, man. Take a five.